Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Mango Oblivion Plays in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and we're going to be talking about the Team Star Challenge today. Uh, in the Team Star Challenge, you are restricted to only using Pokemon used by Team Star members in their boss battles. You can sign up all the way until the end of the competition on Sunday, November 10th, but it officially starts on November 8th, which really means like 7 p.m. ish on November 7th. Um, you do only need to complete one battle to uh, get your prize. Um, and this is a single battle competition, so you can have a team of six, but you'll only be battling with three. One of those Pokemon does have to be Reverum, though, so really you're only going to be picking two Pokemon that you'll be utilizing along with your Reverum. Uh, let's take a quick look at all the eligible Pokemon available. If it loads... Come on. So, eligible Pokemon include Wigglytuff, Primeape, Arcanine, Muck, Azumarill, Houndoom, Torkoal, Cacturn, Haunchcrow, Skuntank, Lucario, Toxicroak, Crocodile, Ponyard, Dragalgi, Klefki. This one is escaping my name. What is it? Marini, Toxapex, Passimian. Colossal, Hatterini, Doshbun, Armor Rouge, Mabostiff, Reverum, Annihilate, and King Gambit. So those are your options for this tournament. Uh, it's going to seem like Pokemon that can perform multiple types of attacks are going to potentially be very useful here. Um, so that you can hit uh, the variety of Pokemon available. Uh, the participation prize is a Starf Berry, and you must complete one match. Uh, it does not matter if you win or lose, you just have to have one battle under your belt for the reward. Um, and otherwise, it's just for fun. So, let's take a look at what my team looks like going into the tournament. So, the team I'm going to be use utilizing for the Team Star Challenge is going to include these Pokémon. The first of which is Reverum, of course, since we have to have a Reverum on the team. Uh, this Reverum is the event Reverum I got, uh, so that's the one I'm planning on using for this. Uh, I gave it a Focus Sash because I want to make sure that it can take at least one hit. Um, and it does have a wide variety of attacking moves, especially with Terra Blast being a fighting type move. So I can hit Pokemon like King Gambit for big damage with that. Um, and uh, Poison Jab is going to have to be for the Fire-type Pokemon that I assume will also be very heavily used in this competition. Um, Overcoat makes it so it doesn't take damage from Sandstorms, Powders, or Spores. Spore not really helpful um, in this setup, but that's what we're going to be utilizing. Oh. Moving on, we're also going to be using a King Gambit. King Gambit here has the Chopple Berry, so that if we do get hit with a fighting move, we might be able to survive it. Uh, it's got Kowtow Cleave, Swords Dance, Iron Head, and Sucker Punch. Its ability is Defiant, so if they are going to try to lower our stats, we are going to get a boost from that. So that is um, a solid choice there as your King Gambit. Um, Supreme Commander is not probably the best ability to have on your King Gambit in this competition because you'll only have three Pokemon, so you're only going to be getting two boosts, not the normal five or three, right? So Defiant is probably a better option, especially with the next Pokemon, Arcanine, being in the mix. Uh, Arcanine is a solid Pokemon. It does have Intimidate, so we can lower attack values. There aren't a ton of special attackers on that list that we went through, um, so being able to Intimidate is going to be pretty important, I think. Um, this specific Arcanine is set up to attack, so it does have Flare Blitz, it has Close Combat, it has Extreme Speed and Play Rough. Um, our item is Choice Scarf, so we want to be able to hit fast and hard there with Arcanine. Next up, we have Torkoal. Torkoal has the Choice Specs, and Torkoal is here to uh, Heat Wave. 
basically. So um, he's going to set up Sun and then attack with Heat Wave. Um, why not Eruption? I'm choosing Heat Wave here. Uh, Heat Wave is a pretty awesome move in and of itself. It's a little less accurate than Eruption, um, but it is pretty consistent. Um, and it's not dependent on hit points, so I don't want it to be crippled by getting hurt. Uh, heat Wave is going to be consistent regardless of our hit points, uh, so we're going to stick with Heat Wave here. Moving on, we do have an Armor Rouge on the team. Armor Rouge is going to have a Focus Sash, uh, and... Do I already have a Pokemon? Okay, I need to change an item here. Um, we'll probably change Rev Rooms. Uh, Armor Rouge is going to be a support Pokemon. It has Trick Room, Wide Guard, Ally Switch, and Expanding Force. Probably going to switch that Wide Guard and Ally Switch. Uh, give it some different moves there. Um, so it's more single battle ready. Um, but uh, we do want to get... Uh, Trick Room in there. Trick Room is going to be very helpful um, for our Torkoal here, who's very slow. So we can set up Trick Room with Armor Rouge, and then we can use Heat Wave first, pretty much with Impunity. And then our final Pokemon is Annihilate. Uh, he's got Heavy Duty Boots, um, and he's got a wide variety of attacks. Poison Jab, Rage Fist, Final Gambit, which we might not be using. Probably going to switch that move out. And then we might use Encore here to lock into a uh, into a move that they don't want to be using. Uh, so that is our team uh, with a few edits. It'll be ready to go. Um, and then just, just a second here, we're going to register so you can see how to do that. All right, I got my team straightened away here with a few move changes. And now we can see how we can register for this tournament. So you're going to want to go to Battle Stadium. And then you're going to want to go down to Online Competitions. Once you get there, it'll say it's accepting entries for the official competition. For this one, it will be available until the last day, so you can sign up on the third day of the tournament, do a battle, and get the rewards. Uh, so you're going to hit Search for Competition. It's going to tell you what the rules are. It'll tell you you're registering, what division you'll be in. You have to agree to all the different rules. So you slide down and hit I Agree to all of those. Then confirm. Once you've confirmed, you do have to select which team you're going to be utilizing. Oh, forgot to change the items. Knew I was missing something. Uh, but that gives me the opportunity to show you what I changed. Um, Armor Rouge now has Flamethrower, Aura Sphere, and Psy Shock. And then I gave uh, Annihilate, Stomping Tantrum, and Close Combat some more, uh, more single-player moves. Um, but I do want to keep the Focus Sash on him, so Reverum is going to need a new item. Where is our Reverum, buddy? Reverum, there he is. Alright, so we're going to change his held item out. Um, he is, I think, going to be utilized as an attacker, so what we might do... I don't want to completely lock him in. So I don't want to use a choice item. So what I think we're going to do is we're actually going to put away this health item. And then where's my friend with the move? There we go. Alright, so we're going to put away the muscle bands so that we can put it to Rever Room here. Alright, muscle band's going to just boost all of our physical moves, which is going to be very helpful. Um, and there we go. Now we should be set with our team. Perfect. Alright, once you enter, you can't make any changes, so make sure you're ready when you do that. Um, and now once you're locked in, you'll be able to start battling on the 7th. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll be doing the Team Star Challenge next weekend, so tune in for those videos. Uh, and let's see if we can't get a decent ranking in this one. Thanks for watching. This has been Mango Oblivion Plays, and we'll see you again soon.